Okay, let's begin. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Veni Sancti Spiritus, repletuorum corde fidelium et tui amoris in eis iniam accende, emire Spiritum tuum et creabuntum. Oremus, Deus qui corda fidelium, Sancti Spiritus, illustratione da cuisti, da nobis in iodem spiritu recto sapere, et eius semper consolatione gaudere per Christum, Dominum nostrum. Amen. Great, good morning. Good morning. Oh, we're still sleepy. Morning. So today is February 9, 2021, and we're commenting on the Gospel of St. Mark. Gospel for today's Mass. This is a long gospel. So I'm just going to read a portion of it and comment on that part which we could reflect on uh, today. Okay. Um, in this about this gospel so from the gospel of saint mark chapter 7 verses 1 to 13 and i'm going to read a part where which we would comment on so the pharisees and the scribes questioned him why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders but instead eat a meal with unclean hands he responded well did Isaiah prophesy about your hypocrisy. As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He went on to say, How well you have set aside the commandments of God in order to uphold your tradition. This is a very painful reproach that our Lord issues towards the Pharisees and the scribes who were more concerned about putting on too many burdens on people to follow. They created plenty of rules around the basic Ten Commandments that were issued through Moses. They had created little rules, uh, thinking that that would be the best way to fulfill the commandment of God or the commandments of God. However, well, here our Lord tells them, you know, no, you're being hypocrites. You're actually doing only things that you had invented for yourselves and they are not really consistent with the laws of God okay and he calls them hypocrites sometimes in other parts of the gospel he has called them even worse names like you know brood of vipers okay brood of vipers you fools, right? all of which are rooted in their hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. What is hypocrisy? Well, simply, it's lying to oneself and lying to others in terms of not behaving according to what you preach. So do as I tell you, but not as I do, right? Or rules for thee, but not for me. <laughs> hypocrisy laying on burdens on other people telling them to do things and behave this way or the other but they themselves don't follow their own rules don't we see that nowadays right in our political world but you know what you also see that among religious people among people who are supposed to be upholding the truth speaking the truth preaching the truth yet they don't behave according to the truth. Hypocrites. Right? Hypocrites. They would rather impose what they think are, you know, uh, their own moral codes and, 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 and moral behaviors on others when in fact and in truth, they themselves are not following, in the first place, following the commandments of God. Okay? And they do things for show rather than out of sincere 
love and true faith. Okay? They do things for show. And you would wonder who it is they're really fooling. <laughs> if they're really able to fool people because of their showy, goody-goody uh, behaviors. Okay? So there's no sincerity. See, our Lord says, These people honors me with their lips. They just pay lip service to the things of God. They talk about it. They, 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 they uh, have external manifestations of, of, uh, of uh, religiosity or piety. But really, their hearts are, are, are like tombstones, whitewashed tombstones, as Jesus himself said of them, right? Full of carcasses and rotting flesh and bones. In other words, full of evil uh, in themselves. So whatever it is they're showing out, uh, outwardly is not consistent with what they have in their hearts because they don't really have God in their hearts. Okay? They're doing everything in their lives as a lie. As a lie. And they think they can fool, they can fool people. No, you cannot. And in the first place, you cannot fool God. God knows what's in our hearts, what's in our thoughts. Okay? So there's really no point trying to behave in such a way that is inconsistent with what we are keeping inside. So he says, you know, in vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrine human precepts. They want to pass it off as being good, moral, justified, and normal right but in reality all of these are lies all of these are um, a disregard of the commandments of God so you have plenty of these kinds of people walking around okay? uh, some of them in in parishes um, <laughs> who you know they 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 they, uh, they impose all sorts of rules in all sorts of uh, uh, tradition uh, in sorts of practices and customs that are not in keeping with the faith, that are not in keeping with our Catholic tradition, and 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 yet they 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 uh, they take they think that they're doing the right thing. You know, out of their ignorance, they think they're doing the right thing. Like these Pharisees, see, they 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 thought that by imposing certain rules on people, they're doing the right thing. But the truth of the matter is, they're only doing that in order to gain power for themselves you know? so uh, a lot of people a lot of people pray all sorts of novenas a lot of people spend uh, a lot of time uh, praying supposedly praying in the church they go to mass every day right they even receive communion every day but then when they get home their behavior is is contrary to what you would expect from somebody who has just gone to Mass, who has just spent hours praying, who has just spent hours doing novenas to all the saints that you can mention, right? But when they get home, when, when they're with their families, when they are at work, when they are in social circles, they behave like there's no God. Okay? So that is hypocrisy. There's no consistency between what they show off as their religiosity and with what uh, their behavior actually expresses. Okay? So such behaviors are hypocritical and would merit the condemnation of God. Okay? So we have to be sincere. Here's where... Here's where Truthfulness and sincerity are very important virtues. If you if, if if you're really saying that you are a religious person, you you like to pray, you like to uh, uh, be be uh, uh, a good child of God. Well, you better show it in the way you behave. You better show it in the way you're dealing with other people. See? You cannot just be goody goody at church, but then <laughs> when you go home, when you are at work and with other people. Well, you're so uncharitable. You are you you, you behave in, in a manner that's so despicable. See? So there's no consistency with your behavior and your piety. Well, there's something wrong there. 
uh, you know, the, 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 the worst part of this is, you know, privately you might be able to get away with that, right? But when you are a public figure, when you are somebody of influence, whether it be in your family, like, you know, parents, okay? Or if you are uh, uh, some sort of an influential person in, in a public office, <laughs> well, you cannot behave with this kind of inconsistency, okay? And let me just get to the point, okay? We have some public officials, for example, who declare themselves to be good Catholics, faithful Catholics, right? Yet, they're the first ones to push uh, laws on abortion. Okay? They're the first ones to, to uh, uh, push all sorts of legislations that are contrary to the teachings of the Catholic faith that they say they profess. Okay? And they even insist on receiving the sacraments like going to communion, receiving our Lord sacrilegiously. For what? What are they trying to show off? You know, they're trying to court votes of the Catholics. They're trying to uh, pass themselves off as being faithful Catholics. For what? Really? Well, for what? What is the whole point of doing this? If not just hypocrisy to the highest degree. Okay? Mocking God. This is actually a mockery of God. Putting yourself above God is what you're doing when you're in public office. Uh, and, you, and you don't have to be somebody in public office to do this. I mean, even in your own homes, you parents, okay, you can be preaching a lot of religion to your children. But if you behave in such a manner that is contrary to everything you teach your children about, then... You're fooling yourselves and causing... The, the worst part of all of this hypocrisy is that people who are in authority, people who are in uh, positions of influence, are causing scandal. Scandal. Because what you are preaching is not consistent with your behavior. And when you're doing that, you're causing grave scandal to people who may not understand uh, the, the, the whole truth behind what you're trying to say and what you're trying to do. You're causing scandal. What did our Lord say about people causing scandal? It's better that a millstone be put around his neck and he be thrown into the depths of the sea. See? Could you imagine that kind of, that kind of consequence? And it's, this is our Lord saying that. Not me, not anybody else. So for those of you people out there who, who, who are saying that we shouldn't be as hard on our public officials who declare themselves to be Catholic yet behave contrary to what the Catholic Church teaches, you, you say we're being uncharitable. You say we have to be accommodating. You say we have to try to be uh, 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 understanding. Well, yes, we are and we should be. But we should not mince words here, right? We should call a spade a spade. And we, we, we condemn, I condemn, and the church really actually should condemn in the harshest, har, harshest of terms, the hypocrisy that these people are, uh, uh, are showing us and the scandal that they're causing okay? to many unsuspecting Catholics who think that just because uh, the public official says, I'm a good Catholic, I'm a faithful Catholic, and yet I support abortion and I do this. And I, they're, they're trying to normalize evil using their authority and under the cloak of their religiosity, their belongingness to the Catholic faith. They're not only harming their souls, they're not only fooling people and causing scandal, in the end, they're causing grave harm to their own souls. So you, my children, cannot behave like this. And we, I, your mom, we have been trying to teach you not only how to behave properly, but how to understand the teachings of our own faith. 
so that you may live up to these principles, to these doctrines, to these norms that have been handed down to us by our Lord himself and the apostles and the whole tradition that we live up to in the Catholic faith. Okay? So I, I would advise you to take to heart all of these things that we teach you. So that later on when you end up hopefully in uh, uh, positions of influence wherever you are. At work, in your own families and maybe in the political realm. In the social circles that you will belong to later. You may be light that shines in your world. And not be the hypocrites that our Lord is talking about in today's gospel. So learn to be true to yourselves. Learn to be true to what you say you believe in. And live lives consistent to those truths. Okay? Live your lives consistent to those truths. There's no room for hypocrisy in a true Christian. So let us not put ourselves in, in, in shame or in embarrassing situations through hypocrisy. And it's not just because we don't want to put ourselves in embarrassing situations. The whole point is be true to what you believe in. Live up to what you profess to be true. Okay? Have a good day, everybody. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.